My name is Craig Lambert. I am a doctor in autoimmune hepatitis researcher at Indiana University. I also am the executive director of the Autoimmune Hepatitis Association. Rare Disease Day is February 29th, 2020. This is an important day for all rare diseases, but we also think it can be a good day to remind us about the importance of research in rare diseases like AIH. First, studying rare disease can be hard for investigators because we often need a large number of patients in order to study to answer important research questions. Therefore, disease researchers often need to work in teams, possibly even with doctors from other medical centers to recruit enough patients. AIH research is also challenging because it can be hard to diagnose AIH as well. We need to ensure patients that participate in research actually have the disease. Things like this have been part of the reason AIH research hasn't advanced as quickly as other autoimmune illnesses. And like these illnesses, AIH is also caused by variation in genes associated with the immune system and possibly with interaction with certain environmental exposures, like for example, viral infections or medications. The cause of AIH likely differs patient to patient, which may be why some patients have more symptoms or are more difficult to treat. In order to better understand these aspects of AIH and why this disease occurs among different people, we need to understand the risks of AIH. Researchers need to partner closely with patients to obtain genetic samples, thorough environment data over their lifetimes, medical history, and also their lab results. As a researcher, I've been aiming to do this with an AIH research project called the GRACE study at Indiana University since 2015. This study has been supported by a grant from the National Institute of Health, providing federal money to conduct the research through the year 2022. Patients that participate in the GRACE study are asked to provide a sample of their DNA, complete a variety of environmental questionnaires, and allow researchers to review their medical history from their treating doctor. Having all this information gives us the most comprehensive snapshot of elements that cause the disease. We currently have over 500 AIH patients enrolled in this database, which includes patients from collaborating doctors at Mayo Clinic in Rochester, as well as at the University of Pennsylvania. This is the largest database of AIH patients in the US, and I expect it will be important in answering even more questions about AIH for years to come. Even though this study is only a few years old, we have learned a few things about AIH that we didn't know before. In the next year, we expect to learn more about the genetic risks of AIH so we can truly pin down what immune system issues are happening in this disease, which can possibly lead us to better treatments. We also will have data to look at the environmental risks of AIH and how modifying these could prevent or change the disease for the better or for worse. We hope that all of the GRACE findings will help us move the approach to AIH treatment to one that focuses on individual characteristics and maybe even better therapies in the future, specifically ones that don't depend on steroids. The GRACE study has been successful in part because patients around the country have learned about the study through social media and have been willing to participate. If you haven't been involved, please consider enrolling. The study details are below. By being part of this study, you will enable us to learn more about autoimmune hepatitis and work to improve the lives of patients with this disease. Thank you.